So far, here's what I have for the 007 Mini Scuba Tank. A lot of people have been asking about this, and I think it's a pretty cool project. Um, basically, I here's what I have so far. It's not completely assembled, but all the parts just need to be basically anchored down. Here's your mouthpiece. I use a scuba tank, connects to some PVC, and then I also took the PVC and put it inside and then cut it off so that you have a smaller diameter. And that fits kind of over top of this here, which is just some brass fittings. And I bought a, almost, this is every size of brass that you can find. Going up to, I think the, the highest one here is uh, 21, 30 seconds. And you can see this stuff is not cheap. Um, $3.89. All this stuff that you see here, it's not that much was over fifty dollars um, but I could wait online for like a couple like I could wait you know a week to get these sizes but for me to get just one piece and I don't need a whole shipment of it that's why I kinda had to do what I had to do and spend the money I'm always running into problems where I'm running back to that store just to get the right exact fitting because they do go in increments of 55 I'm so, sorry, um, 1 15th or something like that, or 1 32nd. So they all fit in each other like perfectly snug, and it's a pretty cool um, measurement system so that it's all like, very precise. Um, unlike PVC, where PVC doesn't fit into itself, you need an adapter, all of these can just fit into each other perfectly, so um, it's a lot easier for building things. So what I have here, these bike pumps, Basically, I'm going to take this CO2, actually it's called Oxygen to Go, and it says Personal Portable Oxygen Cartridges. Um, this is used for the purpose of inhalation. You can see here, um, it's used for high altitudes for people that go hiking or whatever if they get short of breath because the higher altitude, the thinner the oxygen. And it is a combination of oxygen and nitrogen, so it's that atmospheric type of oxygen, so you're not going to die basically um, now this isn't gonna be something that you put on your face and it's gonna be regulated oxygen it's basically gonna have what I'm planning on doing is right here where there's this little hole I'm gonna have a purge valve so that oxygen so that air water cannot go in and there'll be like a little stopper there so that when you push pressure it's gonna force your your expired air that's already been used in your lungs out of this little valve and then once the pressure is released it'll lock back up because there's a little rubber stopper um, that's used in a lot of face masks to purge the valve right underneath the nose they'll have a little valve like that so if water does get in your mask you can breathe it'll force the water out and then lock back up so it's a very simple design that's already been created and then this is just a regular mouthpiece I got it's a replacement scuba tank what I'm planning on doing, um, so here's your little thing here. This is a needle valve for basketball, and I just drilled that out, put some brass tubing on there to build up the angle, the um, size so that it fits a little more snug in here, and then it just kind of fits like that. Now I'm going to have to modify that. I'm thinking of adding another piece of brass um, of some sort because these sizes here, the black and the brass, meet perfectly and if I could put something in between there it would finalize it and then I could glue it in place and make it nice and airtight and also um, some type of stabilization so that this isn't constantly rotating although I do like that because it's going to be more portable in, in the future instead of having it like this all the time some type of, of release so that it could go like this and then fit in your pocket or whatever more compact is always better so that's pretty much that they have these little locks on them so that the buttons don't release automatically basically what it's going to be is a inhaler underwater and I'm going to have some type of lever system kind of like a Y so that when you bite down on this mouthpiece there will be like a little raised ridge here it will push these up so there's going to be some type of axis here that pushes on these valves so it's gonna be like um, you take a deep breath go underwater using this valve that I was talking about expel the air and then bite down 
uh, as you inhale and it will be like an inhaler it won't be a regulated mask because the regulators first of all cost like at least fifty to a hundred dollars there's no regulator that's this size so it would be really impossible to find um, something that's you know the micro aspect of it and I just think this works I don't see any problem with inhaling this isn't going to be used as you know your primary this is going to be used you know if you're um, a soldier and let's say you are you know your your truck goes under in, into a lake and you're trying to save your buddy you can grab this it gives you enough oxygen so that you can have probably another 10 minutes to do what you need to do um, it says 14 blasts of oxygen so I'm guessing that's about 28 from 2 if that's you know accurate enough and then you know that's how many how many inhalations of air that's 14 breaths I mean if you were able to stand or water and someone says alright hold your breath and then take another breath and then take another breath 14 times that'd probably be around you know six minutes at least if you can hold your breath for 30 seconds which most people can so that's kinda my um, my idea for everything so I hope you guys have any uh, like what I have to say any suggestions <clears throat> another thing that's nice about this I'll have to say um it doesn't if if you wear it like this way you can still wear routine goggles because it's not getting in the way of your mask so it's all in front of your face whereas if you know what i mean it's, it's almost the exact same thing as a snorkel but it just has the oxygen tanks in it so it's very cool i like it now what would be cool in the future which i just thought of right now some type of snorkel that you could use and then let's say you're diving somewhere and you decide oh like what's that buried treasure down there it's like a hundred it's like 25 feet down and you know to get down there is gonna take so much time um, you could use a spray of this get yourself down there use a couple breaths and then come back up so that's kind of another aspect combining this with an actual product which is a snorkel that would be cool to see. Um, I can do that probably. So um, this is where I am right now. All these tube, all these brass fittings was really what was holding me back. I just bit the bullet, spent the fifty bucks, got every size, said I don't have to run in any more problems. So I'm gonna put two more um, right here, one here to help. This isn't even airtight at all. That's gonna stay on there, and that's pretty much it making that axis as well so you can bite down we'll see how, how easily that works it's probably easier said than done but that's it guys so um, thanks to all you guys who've been keeping me motivated constant comments saying when are you gonna finish this I've just been busy with school and stuff so uh, thanks for keeping with me appreciate it have a good one